This is a replica of the bar that was back in the old building in Havana, Cuba, and it was intended only for VIP members. And today, you're a VIP members. We're about to learn the story of our legendary cocktails and a little bit about our best-selling rums. We're going to start here with a mojito, which is our oldest cocktail. It remotes back to the time of the pirates. Back then, it was known as a drink, in honor of Sir Francis Drake. It was a mixture of kill devil, water, spring cleans, lime juice, and sugar, making it a very harsh cocktail. But we have to thank Bacardi that after 1862, they changed the recipe, substituting the kill devil for Bacardi Superior, that club soda, and very important ice. And they also changed its name from a drink to a mojito, which means little magic potion. And you'll get the sense of the name after two or three mojitos. <laughs> Here our second cocktail, a daiquiri. Many recognize it as a frozen cocktail in different flavors, but back then blenders did not exist. So it was a simple mixture of bacardi superior, lime juice, and sugar. The story starts in a mining section in Cuba. There was an American engineer called Jenny Cox. He used to prepare this cocktail and share with his coworkers and friends. Same coworkers and friends used to go to the bars and coach the bartenders how to prepare it. One time they visited this bar, and as usual, they had to coach the bartender how to prepare it. But this bartender was so curious, he asked for a name, and they didn't have a name for it. Therefore, they had a small discussion, and the bartender suggested, why not call it after the mining section you're working? And like that it was. They called it a daiquiri in honor of the daiquiri copper mining in Cuba. And now here to end with a Cuba Libre, the most served and most popular cocktail, making it, <coughs> sorry, making the most served cocktail, maybe because it's the easiest cocktail to appear. It's only two ounces of Bacardi Gold, Coke, and the Company of the Line. Everything starts after the Spanish-American War. There was a group of soldiers who went to bar to celebrate, and they started to mix a rum of the moment with their favorite refreshment. After some hours of celebrating, the high-ranking officer stood up, raised his glass, and toasted in Spanish, La Riga Vida por un Cuba Libre, which means, Long Life for a Free Cuba. And from that moment on, everybody recognized Bacardi and Coke as a Cuba Libre. Now moving to our best-selling rums, we're going to start here with Bacardi Superior. Aged from one to two years, it is our most mixable and our most old rum. Because it complements your console and you can mix it with almost everything except driving. <laughs> <laughs> here our second rum, Bacardi Gold. Aged from one to three years, and it has a more rich rum flavor. It is used to mix with carbonated drinks and it also makes delicious rum cakes. And for those who have a more demanding palate, we have two premium sipping rums. Starting here with Bacardi Ocho. Aged from 8 to 10 years, it has notes of vanilla, apricot, and nutmeg. It is an equivalent of a scotch whiskey. This is because here in Puerto Rico we have a very tropical climate, making our rums age faster. But you may be wondering, how do I enjoy this rum? Well, you can enjoy it neat on the rocks or in the bolts of Cuba Libre, substituting Bacardi Gold for Bacardi Ocho. And I've heard once you make the change, you'll never go back. Yeah. And if you're that type of person, you don't enjoy, you enjoy rum straight up on the rocks for a cocktail, you can enjoy Bacardi Ocho over vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now here to end with the top shelf that climb up the climb, La Reserva Limitada. Aged from 10 to 16 years, an average of 12 to 14. Each bottle is numbered, making it unique. And once you're caught this bottle, you receive a certificate of authenticity, making it